Hello, Internet. I'm Taco Sochu, and we're playing XCOM UFO Defense. Uh, if you joined us last time, we had just shot down a medium UFO. We actually put up a bit of a fight when this guy gets back. Uh, he's going to be in repairs for quite a few days. Um, but luckily, our interceptor survived. We're not yet up against UFOs that can just shoot those things out of the sky with one hit. So it's crashed uh, somewhere in Europe. We have our um, Sky Ranger outfitted with 10 people. Poaki, the rookie, who just happens to be a rookie. I don't know what happened to the last guy there. Um, everybody's got flying suits. Everybody's got guns. We don't really need these laser rifles anymore. These are sort of holdovers, and we don't need these grenades anymore. Oh, yes, we do, because we haven't researched alien grenades, but we don't need so many. And um, everything else is good. Everything else is good. Everything looks brilliant, 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 brilliant. Um, brilliant, brilliant. Carrots. Brilliant. Um, brilliant. Everything's brilliant. Okay. Um, and we're going to intercept. Go to the crash site. Are you ready to land? Yes, I'm ready to land. Are you ready to kick some ass? Yes, I'm ready to kick some ass! So, let's make the best of a good situation. We got an alien craft on the ground. We're gonna fuck it up. Real good. And it's farmland again, go figure. This is weird. Oh, here we go, at a corner. Uh, go, go, my plasma tank. Find what ye will. And it's floaters again. How exciting. Our first larger than small UFO, and it's just a bunch of floaters. Let's actually see if we can shoot it with a uh, soldier. Everyone can fly now, can't they? So we're one big happy floating family. Still just that alien. Cool. Get up, get on up, get up, shoot the alien like a sex machine. <coughs> Alien sex machine. Brilliant! I'm saying brilliant quite a lot. I think I've hit my brilliant quota for the next six months in these past two minutes. But that's okay. That's brilliant. Uh, Proda. You're kind of new, aren't you? Or maybe you just haven't gotten a lot of kills. La di da di da. Spreading out, spreading out. So I should not be quite so cavalier on this mission. This is, of course, a medium UFO, and although we did shoot it down, which reduces the number of aliens that you have to deal with. Um, it's still quite possible that this is going to be um, Alien City, sort of. Um, some people say we built the city on rock and roll, but the truth is that whatever we built it on, it's full of aliens now. So we're going to have to deal with the consequences. And the consequences include potentially getting shot. So I should maybe not group up on this ramp. But saving time units is never a bad idea. If some aliens poke their heads out, we can shoot the shit out of them. And actually, let's save the game in here, and good to go. Oh, I heard a door, so the aliens have had time to spread out into the surrounding barn, barnish area. Um, well, that's a floater, right? We know that, because this is floaters. So let's get maybe somebody to shoot it. Where's the floater? There you are. Ah, I'm glad you can take the shot. I wasn't really expecting that. And I'm glad you can miss it, too. I wasn't really expecting that. Oh, sure, sure. Yes, of course I was. Yay! So we're off to a good start, but remember that door opening sound. That means any one of these buildings you see could house a nefarious alien with nefarious plans to nefariously shoot us with a nefarious launcher. One of the alien weapons that we have not yet encountered. Um, in fact, through all my time of playing XCOM, I have yet to see a nefarious launcher. I'm beginning to think I just made it up just now to serve as a joke, but we'll never know. I mean, we'll keep our eye out, obviously. So we want an alien leader, right, to interrogate. And I'm not sure if floater leaders count as alien leaders that we want to interrogate. And also, uh, we have no way, no way of knowing who a floater leader is, because... Um, I don't want to sound more racist than I quite obviously am, but all floaters look the same to me. Hey, look, there's one. And one of them at least is moving in the UFO. So all floaters look the same to me, and um, there's not much I can do about it. 
except when we get a mind probe up and running, when we research mind probes. That was a nice shot, right through that window, too. When we get mind probes researched and up and running. Whoa! Someone's in there. Uh... Yowza. There we go. When we get mind probes researched up and running, we can probe alien minds. And, um... That pretty much tells you whatever you want to know about them, including... Uh, name, rank, and serial number, but the aliens don't have names or ranks in this game, which is makes perfect sense. It would be silly beyond silliness if XCOM gave the aliens names. I mean, this is a cheesy game sometimes, but one th like the aliens are sort of cheesy, but they're nowhere near cheesy enough to be like, I am Zorgon, the concluder. I have concluded that you must die. Pew, pew, pew. Um, nothing that silly, so uh, it's a good thing the aliens don't have names. I don't mind that. Um, they just have roles like floater terrorist or sectoid commander. So I'm not sure if a floater leader is what we'd want to get, but um, like I said, I can't tell who a floater leader is, so no point in worrying about it yet. Until we get our mind probes. And the bad thing about mind probes is that you don't want to give them to everybody first because it's annoying to everyone carry them around their mind probe. They're kind of big and kind of heavy. They look like giant metal basketballs. Um, so it's annoying for everybody to carry them, and um, you have to use them like a weapon sort of thing. You just use the mind probe like a gun on somebody, and so that obviously takes up time and um, time units, so that's no good. And the worst thing about keeping mind probes around is that they sell for $250,000, so I always want to offload them on eBay. Um, so I don't tend to keep a lot of mind probes in my repertoire. But I'll keep... Now Now that I know we're trying to capture leaders, once they're researched... Ooh, that's good shooting, except the floater survived. Um, hit him in the back, too, even where the armor is weaker. But um, now that we're going for alien leaders, it would be good to keep a mind probe around. You see? There's, there's just more aliens when you shoot down a medium UFO. And... Since the plasma tank's the only one around to take the shot, it'll take the shot. And it looks like we found the UFO. Nice shooting text, except it's still alive. So here's the UFO. We see some smoke from the downed UFO, and I swear I saw a corner. Maybe not. I did. Was I hallucinating? You guys saw it if I saw it. Whatever. Next turn. He's just gonna he's just gonna walk back and forth. Those aliens and their mysterious ways. Oh, I see. Here's the second level. Remember? This is a double level UFO. So this is level three, the roof, level two, second level of UFO, level one. Uh this is, I believe, an alien research ship or something like that. How do I know? Or maybe it's a supply ship. I don't know. We'll uh, investigate. Oof, we fucked this thing up. Looks like bad news for the alien. Wow, die already. Um, no. Well, you're alive. Not even hurt. Good. Good. Trial by fire, like I always say. What doesn't kill you, potentially fatally wounds you. And what doesn't fatally wound you, doesn't kill you. Immediately or later. Unless it stuns you, and then you get killed while you're stunned. Um, and that's the XCOM motto. XCOM has a lot of mottos. One of them is fuck aliens. Um, one of them is XCOM. You're coming home in a body bag, or you're not coming home in a body bag. But either way, we bought body bags. Enough for everybody. It's not one of the more popular mottos, but... Um, to be honest, we mostly hire scientists and engineers and soldiers. Nobody really... we don't hire any PR people, so the people making the mottos is usually just scientists or engineers or soldiers. And they're very bad at it. And hover tank can't hit nothing. Hover tank don't care. Uh, save the game just in case, and next turn. So, I guess that guy went back inside the UFO. 
sounded like. Does the hover tank see him? What do you see, boy? What do you see? Get down into the smoke. And the fire. There's carcinogens, but it don't matter. Oof, we blew out the entire side of this thing. And... Maybe a few people get over here, you can get some shots in. But that's kind of a weird angle. He had to land to make the shot. Nice! So that's the alien conference room. It's got a... Um, let's take a better look at it. It's got um, one of these, and one of these, and one of these. So yeah, your typical alien conference room. Very similar to human conference rooms. Um, except they have alien bagels instead of human bagels. Um, alien bagels inferior to human bagels. There is no everything alien bagel, which is, I think you'll agree, a huge oversight because everything bagels are among the best. What's your favorite bagel? Seems like a lot of people say everything bagels are pretty great. It's tough not to like an everything bagel. I got to admit that um, it's got something for everybody, but what it ha what it has in variety it loses in sort of in in punch right cuz the everything bagel it's everything but in being everything it's nothing it can't it can be your favorite but only cuz it comes to mind like oh it's got what i like but really is it your favorite is it really your favorite surely there's something you like more than the everything bagel some sort of more specific bagel more catered to your specific tastes surely you can't just like everything on a bagel um, this floater has continually taken shots at me, but missed. Uh, to be fair, I continually take shots at aliens in this. As in this, Prodon, second time this match, not getting killed. So, Prodon, if you have nine lives, you're down to seven. I can do math. So really, isn't everything bagel your favorite? Or do you like, is there some other bagel that is potentially your favorite? Think about it. So for me, I think onion bagels, and can we get them through the top? No. Um, I think onion bagels are in the running for favorite. And in fact, everything bagels do taste significantly like onion bagels. You might not even know what an onion bagel is. Like, what's on an onion bagel? Um, you know what an onion bagel is. It's those little brown, ooh, alien. Those, whoa, you're on top. And it's very difficult to hit you firing up this. But that don't matter, you're dead, you're dead! Um, those onion onions on bagels are those, they're little brown, crispy bits of onion, and they taste of onion. If you've ever had, like, onion dip, they taste a lot of the onions in onion dip. So those are in onion bagels, and they impart a fair amount of oniony flavor to the everything bagel, which I suspect more people would like onion bagels if they really thought about it, because what else is on an everything bagel? Just a bunch of seeds and shit. Like, do you really like a poppy seed bagel? Can you even taste the poppy seeds? Or do you just want them because they'll make you fail opium drug tests? You just want to be radical like that. Um, so we have at least one alien on the second floor. If you're wondering how I have vision in here, uh, the aliens have windows that you can see through them. It's kind of funny. Um, you, you think of these aliens as these sort of evil, inhuman monsters uh, with names like Floater and Chrysalid. Um, but nope, they put windows on their UFOs just like us. They want to see the cool stuff outside. Or um, whatever they use them for, they've got them. So, um, so you can get some vision inside the aliens without actually entering. And of course the shit job goes in the tank. And can you make it in here? Nope, you're, you're stuck. Tank can't really do much. Because uh, it's only because we blew this wall out even that the tank can get into the uh, break room and raid the onions. Or sorry, raid the bagels. So onion bagel I think is my favorite. I like potato bagels too. Those are a bit weirder, and everything bagel does not have any potato in it. Potato bagel is like potato bread. If you ever had potato bread, possibly you haven't. Possibly you have without knowing it. Um, it's just got a sort of kind of denser feel to it. Uh, got more potato-y feel to it. Tastes like a bagel mixed with a potato. And I'm a pretty big fan of potatoes. So I like potato bagels, and then, you know, everybody likes blueberry bagels, presumably, right? Can you, how can you not like blueberry bagels? Um, so blueberry bagels are good. I'm not sure they'd be my favorite. Cinnamon raisin, pretty good. I like raisins in a lot of things. Bagels, maybe not, not so much. 
Raisins and baked goods, aside from cookies, I don't know about. Um, so this has been my discourse on bagels. Um, volume 1. Volumes 2 and 3 will be forthcoming, but for now I'm going to shut up about the bagels. And um, move to talking about this UFO. Uh, somewhere there's obviously an elevator to the second floor. I haven't found it yet. Or I blew it up. <laughs> it may have been right here, but I don't think so, because obviously the UFO ends right here. So um, I think the elevator is somewhere in here. And this looks like the UFO power source, so i got to be careful around that. Don't want to blow it up. Um, but we're just taking things slow and steady, because that is what wins the race. I'm moving through the UFO. Everybody gets to come. And you know what, why don't you use up more of your time units getting in here? Because aliens are unlikely to appear, although potentially if there's some hole in the other side of the UFO, the floater could make it out of the hole and come around behind me and destroy me. That would be bad, but I'm guessing that's not going to happen. Um, and just to make sure, this Horus is going to poke around the rest of the thing. Looks good. This all looks good. And actually, Pokey is going to poke. <laughs> Pokey's going to poke around the... <laughs> I made a joke. Alright, good go. Again, through the UFO. So pretty much everyone's going to come along for the ride. Um, overwhelming force is going to be the uh, watchword of the day. Everyone's going to watch each other's backs. Um, potentially they're going to shoot each other's backs. I'm going to try and minimize that sort of thing. Can't make any guarantees. Guarantees are not a thing you can do in XCOM. You can only make hopes and wishes and um, earnest entreaties to the gods. So we'll do all of that. Maybe sacrifice a cow. Um, hopefully we'll find some cows in this um, UFO to sacrifice. And you might think I'm joking, but nope, nope, you can find some cows. When we find some cows, you will you will realize once and for all that I was telling the truth, and that those who thought I was lying were incorrect about believing as such. And Pokey and whatever the heck your name is, Horus Hero, I think. Yep, Pokey and Horus Hero. You guys are gonna watch the outside just in case. I think the last alien is inside this UFO, but so look, there's the elevator. I think the last alien is inside this UFO, but just to be safe, uh, we're watching the outside. Like I said, safe, safe, safe. Do, 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 do. I don't want to move too many people too far ahead. If a firefight breaks out in here, I want these people sort of aiming fire down range so they don't accidentally hit the power source. I want that power source. Mm, beautiful, beautiful power source. Nobody's dead yet. And Dave the Doom, come along in case I decide to stun somebody, which is unlikely, but whatever. <laughs> So this floater seems to keep moving around. He's probably getting nervous. We'll see. I would be getting nervous too if I had like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight XCOM agents coming down on me. That would be bad news. So the thing about these alien elevators, they sort of just work magically or whatever, but they're open, so you can shoot up and down the elevator shaft. Um, if you can see someone above or below you, that's the wrong person. Um, so you have to be careful about that when you're approaching elevators, and they can sort of throw grenades down elevators and stuff like that. So obviously if the alien comes down, this might be a clusterfuck of everybody shooting into each other's backs, but we're just going to sort of cross our fingers and hope that doesn't happen, and save the game for good luck. Nope, nothing bad happening. Check over here. Check over here. Um, hmm. I want to get as close as possible, but the more time I spend getting as close as possible, the more likely it is the alien comes down the elevator and everything, all hell just breaks loose. Um, I think five guys is about the only amount is going to be manageable, so these people are just going to actually, Dave the Doom, since you only have a stun launcher, you can come, but you two are actually going to hold back uh, for now. I want to be safe. and. For maximum safety, you're going to crouch, and you're going to crouch. So the reason I'm going slowly is not just for general reasons of caution, but um, because I want these people to see like they have time units. I want them to have as many time units as possible when they get sort of up the elevator and start fighting the alien. So the closer you are when you start moving, the more time units you'll have by the time you finish moving. So that's the plan. Okay. 
You guys ready? Here's here's the turn we do it. Here's the plan. S count electric, your closest. So you go up, you see an alien. It's one alien. I think you're going to shoot. Good. That was a good choice. Count electric, you have done well. And having done well, you're going down the elevator, you're getting off, and we're going to wait. And actually, this might be the end of the match, so save the game. That was indeed the end. It was on an alien abduction mission. We killed 10 aliens, uh, recovered 11 corpses, so really only one died on the crash. Interesting. And we got a shit ton of Illyrium. Mmm, mmm, good stuff. Mmm, mmm. Mmm, delicious. And we found four examination rooms, so that's great. Um, and C. Borealia got promoted to a sergeant. So, I'm sure we have all sorts of alien goodies to sell back at base. Bleep, bloop. Ooh, look at all this stuff. We should transfer some of these to Americom. Actually, you know what? We can sell some of these. We don't need them. Um, look at those. Those sell for a lot of money. Man, people are buying up heavy plasma rifles. Those are hot. They're so hot right now. But the President's Secret Service is buying a bunch of those. Um, we can get rid of the UFO navigation. Examine ring mission rooms. We don't really need those. Sell. And then let's transfer to Americom. You guys can have a flying suit and some alloys. 40 should be good. And, you know what, some navigations. But not all of them. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Cancel. Okay, um... What else do I have to do? Hyperwave decoders, right. Build facilities. Hyperwave decoder, super expensive. Hyperwave decoder. Super expensive. We're out of money. And we have 10 days in the rest of the month to make up that money. View reports. Mind probe, yay! Alien communication device, take information directly from brainwaves, use this device, combat, and display. Click on the alien use. Excellent. Allocate some research. What are you guys doing? Nothing. Uh, we should probably get a grab shield ready to go at some point. And I don't want to make any, but I do want to equip my craft with them if I have them. I hope I saved one. Yeah, I had to have saved at least one because I was researching it. Good. Somebody's job is going to be pro bitch. And that's going to be whoever I like the least. I think. It's just going to be someone random. What? I researched nothing, really? Were two people working on the mind probe simultaneously? I don't know. Um, I have, like, nothing really to research. Oh, alien grenade. I gotta get that done. Ooh, the Avenger. Good. Okay, so, here's the thing. Now we have an Avenger. UFOpedia. XCOM crafted ornament. Avenger. So this is the ultimate transporter thingy carries um, 26 cargo space 4 heavy weapons platforms capacity I carry 4 fucking tanks, are you serious? right? so this is good shit it can carry more soldiers, more tanks and it's got 2 guns which means it can shoot things um, I'm going to want to build one, right? but here's the trick, to build one you have to have an empty hangar so I'd have to scrap my Sky Ranger or an Interceptor, so we're going to scrap one of the Interceptors. Let's strip Interceptor 2 of all of its weapons. And sell it back to the Navy. You see, we get zero money for this, because these were the first Interceptors we got. Those are on loan from, I don't know, USA or something. So can we make a Sky Ranger or an Avenger? It's going to say I don't have room to make it, won't it? Yeah, not enough, work, not enough workspace. Stop. Well, mm. can we make an Avenger here? We're manufacturing the Firestorm already. Um, you know, we don't have the money to make the Avenger right now anyway, so we're not going to worry about it for now. Large UFO. Uh -oh. Just as I sell my Interceptor. Lost. Okay, fine. Firestorm in Americom. Excellent. So you guys need to, right now, lickety split, start making something that'll make me some money because we're getting to the end of the month and I don't want any more fiscal insolvency. So look, here's a Firestorm. It's not um, an Avenger, but it's good for shooting down alien craft, which is good because we want to shoot down alien craft. But remember, it's not going to shoot down any alien craft 
uh, without any weapons. So we're going to have to give it some weapons pretty soon. Um, but first I need some money. Not enough Alarium. Fuck. It runs on Alarium. So we've got to transfer some Alarium there. Man, I hate to give this stuff up. That's the bad thing about using UFOs. They run on Alarium. It's precious. Alien grenade. Okay, now we know how that works. Basically like a normal grenade, except it's alien. Snake Man leader. Does that count as the leader? If that does, that's going to be a coup. Wait, we have grenades. So, um, first thing, equip the craft with the grenades. Equipment. Alien grenades, a lot of those, and now we don't need stupid grenades, and we can sell them. And we have another workshop here, so we can purchase, recruit, all the engineers we can, except we don't have any money. So let's actually wait until the end of the month to do that, because it's about to roll over. Fucking fiscal insolvency! I did it again! I did it again! The Martian solution. Let's do it. Am I gonna win? Um, okay, first we're fiscally insolvent. Let's solve this. This is actually bad. <laughs> um, ooh, a flying suit's worth a lot of money, but no, we need that. Um, I don't need you. I don't need you plasma rifles and plasma pistols. I don't really need you at all. Um, and this is a mine probe at the other base, which I don't need now because we have the Martian solution. Oh, I can sell the other mine probe, can't I? And you know what? I don't need corpses. Sell those. We're almost done with fiscal insolvency, and when I sell my other mind probe, um, how quickly I don't need that. Um, we'll probably be good to go. Ooh, we can sell some heavy plasma. We got too much of that. I'm doing really well. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Sell some stuff, sell some stuff. Fiscal solvency, here we come. Okay, phew. And we haven't even run out of manufacturing possibilities yet, so let's actually recruit some engineers. Not those. Some of those. Well, we'll wait till we have some money. Small UFO. Small fry, whatever. Shoot it down. <laughs> it just flew halfway around the world. Where are we? Well, I can't minimize this while I'm shooting. Oh, there we go. No, don't disengage. Aggressive attack. There we go. Boom. Where are we? Oh, well, we're right over the coast of Vancouver, so I can't go there. Uh-oh, very large. Get it. This might shoot down my interceptor, but that's okay. I gotta make these ships anyways. Fine, low on fuel. I wonder where that thing's going. Man, this is bad. I can't shoot down fucking aliens! Okay, five seconds. Option, save the game, quick. We're gonna attack this alien that's landed, and that'll probably happen. Um, let's do it, let's do it this, um... This, oh, fuck. Which one do I go to? Ice! Let's go to Hoth. And this is gonna be nighttime. No, it's not. Okay, excellent. We're gonna, we're gonna see Hoth. I'm excited. Are you guys... Alright, it's gonna be snowy, it's gonna be cold. I hope you guys brought little heaters because yeah, it's the ice planet Hoth, also known as I think Iceland, is where we are. Um, I can't quite remember. And um, a medium UFO landed. I think it was a medium-sized UFO landed here. And uh, XCOM has decided to investigate, and there's some alarm on the ground. So I'm excited about this. The water's blue, and surprisingly animated. And, um, join me next time when we dive into the th thrilling harsh tundra and get polar bear friends and stuff.